Today we're going to talk about repair versus replace. Yeah. Yep. This is a great conversation. We're going to give you some really good tips. Uh, but like one thing that I always like to talk to uh, technicians about is we want to make sure we ask, don't tell. Right on. And so ask, don't tell sounds like this. If you tell people your air conditioner is 12 years old, they only last about 12 years. You should replace it. Now you're coming into my home and you're telling me how to spend my money. And that's not what we talk to talk about on the tool shed. We talk about we educate, you decide. Right on. So ask, yeah. don't, don't tell. tell. Yeah, and we're well, going to get into how to ask. Yeah. It's, it, the reason that's important, like I, 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 had, a, I had a car. Um, we are talking about it earlier. Like sometimes, you know, you don't always make logical decisions, right? So, so my very first car, I'm not bragging, 1980. VW Polo. So uh, if you're uh, North America, you're probably Googling that right now. But, uh, but a Polo was, was kind of a cool. Now, it had been painted with a brush, bright red. It, it was so ugly, I literally got pulled over for the cops. They were like, <laughs> what are you doing? And I pushed that car more than I drove it, but I loved it. And, and when the first thing that went wrong with it, I ended up spending like 50 bucks on it or 50 pounds, which is a lot of money then. I think I only paid a couple of hundred. And then uh, a little bit after that, there was something wrong with the exhaust. So I spent like, you know, close to 100 pounds on that. And, and before long, what was happening is I had put more money in than the car, than I pay, paid for the car. And, and when we think about everything that we do and why it's so important to, to educate and let the customers choose, sometimes we get emotional. And what can happen is we're, we're putting good money after bad is what they say, right? And so sometimes we just need to stop, have the conversation with the customer, let the customer decide. But everything Jerry and I has learned over the years is that the, the pros have really uh, a really good way and there's certain things that they hit on every conversation. They call it um, playing the tape forward. Oh, that's one of my best things, one of your best things that you talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you talk it. about that a little bit? Yeah, so. I'll use it, but it's <laughs> yours. So I probably stole it from someone. So for the for the kids, uh, a tape, believe it or not, before, before Netflix, uh, they actually used to deliver a CD to your house. That's how you'd watch movies. And before that, on Friday nights, boomers uh, like us, we'd go grab a pizza and we'd stand and stare at a wall of empty uh, cassettes and, and then we'd, some guy would give us a videotape and that's what the whole movie was on there right and so what would happen is to get to the end or fast forward you can fast forward and re rewind and what we need to do is we need to help our customers see the end of the movie and we know the plot we've seen this movie before we know when we come across an 18 year old piece of equipment a 20 year old piece of equipment or or a, you know an eight ten year old water heater we know how this movie ends our customers don't. So we need to hit the major plot lines and, and that's what we're going to talk about. So what are some of the, the, the must, uh, 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 must have conversations that you like to hit with your customer? What's the first one that comes to mind? Yeah, so the first one really is about the age of the equipment. Right on. So it's all about the age of the equipment. So it's engineered obsolescence. They're engineered to fail. And so when they get to a certain age, they're going to have critical failure. They do. They so just do. instead of telling people, hey, your, your unit's 12 years old, they only last 12 years old. It would sound like, hey, do you know how old your air conditioner is? Oh, we moved here 10 years ago. It was here. I think it was a show. So maybe like 12, 12 years. So it's pretty safe to assume it's in the 10 to 12 I, years. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And yeah. do you have any idea about how long they last typically oh, in your area? Shoot. Uh, is, is, it, is it 12 years? It's, it's close to that. Oh, so man. like, hey, uh, well, we're going to talk about yeah. some things today, but what, what do you want to happen with it? Um, you know what? I, I, if it's at the end of the life, I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to hear some options because uh, okay, you know, it's that that's the way the conversation goes, and, and you always say, don't lead the witness, right? Don't lead the witness. That's just right. let them answer, and and and, uh, and and for for a pro move before you answer the, the question, before the the, the homeowner said, well, you know, what about this? There's other things that we should talk about. So we talked about the age. We should talk about the potential age. So okay, Mr. Smith, we can get this up and running, but what do you want to do after it's running? So um, in many cases. Uh, bef before we can do a thorough evaluation, for example, uh, everyday repair would be a contact or a compressor, or some, uh, a capacitor, something like that. We could, we could go ahead and put that in or put the fan motor in in the HVAC system or whatever it is uh, and then get up and running and find out that we have another issue. And we can't take those parts back. Typically, uh, most places, you know, once you put that motor in, you can't take it back to the supply house for credit. Uh, you, uh, you know, some people keep them in and use them for emergencies, but like, we can't do it. We can't sell that to another customer. So they need to know before, hey, I'm happy to put this in, but let's just talk about like, how, how much uh, longer would you like this? 
to last. And if we got this up and running, and what would you do if after it was up and running, we had another repair next year, right? So we talk about age, we talk about the potential age, and then there's a couple of repair conversations because there's the t t today's repair, but then what else do you like to talk so about? So it's all about what it's going to cost today to get you up and running, to maybe sometimes just to see what's going on with it, but the potential cost is what we really want to that's, talk about and, and listen the best technicians that i know that are really good at this they talk about today's repair and what today's repair is going to cost but they really focus uh. on the potential of what it's going to cost future a future cost so it's kind of like your your car yeah that, that's exactly what yeah. it's like it's sort of like you know in the, in the 80s all those uh, uh uh like hero movies the villain just wouldn't die <laughs> the, the future repair is the baddie of this, this whole movie. Like the future repair, the unplanned expense after today, that's the villain that you gotta, you gotta let people know, like not dead, like once we get this going, I don't know about you, Ms. Uh, Mr. Smith, but as I get older, I typically go to the doctor more than I did when, when I was younger. Like you're gonna see people like me a lot more if, if, as this ages, yeah. and is that okay? <clears throat> yeah, so when it comes to repair versus replace, sometimes it's good to have that conversation. Like, hey, Mr. Homeowner, like we can get you up and running, we can do these repairs, but you're gonna, you know, you're, you're getting a shot today, you're gonna get another shot in the future, and then you're gonna get another shot. Sometimes people just say, hey, I just want one big shot, right. and then I wanna be over with. And then if I have a warranty, I don't ever have to get so, another shot. Yeah, so, so that's the other thing. Like, th these are all the, the sort of reasons for repair. Um, but there, there's benefits to, to replacing, and, and, and we need to have those conversations too. So there's things to consider. Um, if, if the, you know, the old system got 10 miles to the gallon or the old water heater, whatever the case may be, um, and the new one gets 20, well, we know it's probably not, still not, if it's old, yeah. it's not getting that 10 miles. So there's energy savings that, that can be had. And, and that's, again, whether you think it's a law or not, it's not up to you. We just need to let the, the, the homeowner know that, that that's an option. And then uh, the other thing that happens quite a lot in a lot of different industries is seasonal rebates or incentives. Yeah, that, that definitely happens. And we, we may have a rebate now, but you may not have that rebate yeah. next year. And so that, that's a risk and it's all about risk aversion. And, and so we, we talk about that a little bit, but um, like there's warranties involved. Yeah, that's right. And, and we talked about yesterday about doing the math for the homeowner. Oh my goodness. You got to do the math for them. And so I, I, I would encourage you like look up their history if they spent four hundred dollars in two, 2015 yep. and then 2016 they spent 99 dollars on, on a, on a tune-up or a start and, and yeah, then whatever. 20, you know the next year they spent four hundred dollars if you add all that up now they've spent about twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to repair it over the years and now you add on today's repair and you add on a future repair sometimes it's just time to give up yeah it's it's like for, for uh you know we've all been in that home where you know it's an engine retired engineer and they've got the spreadsheet of every every cost <laughs> they've ever spent and what they keep the thermostat at but there's other people that they don't really keep track of that they just remember how they feel and mm. and and we call that like the fancy term for that is you know sunk cost they've sunk the money into it and it's like well i've spent this much on it i should spend a little bit more and then that's where it's like death by a thousand cuts and sometimes you know, we need to go through this so that the customer, and we need to be really good at it. We need to hit all of these in a nice logical order so that it seems like we've, uh, we've, we'd, we've had our facts. The last thing to, to probably talk about is lifestyle. And, you know, yeah. Mr. Smith, you, you, you talked earlier how you, you moved here five years ago, or you're gonna be here for the next 10. Do you wanna just start enjoying that quieter system on your, your patio today? And, and if they're saying, well, I want to wait or two, this is where the, for extra credit, the, the, the cats that know, we'll talk about some financing that maybe the, the offer, right? right? Like, hey, if you Different. want to wait 18 months or, or a year, why don't we go ahead and you can start getting all the benefits today. We can do the paperwork and then- you can pay for it in yeah, the future. Yeah, with tax return or, or you know, your, your retirement or your um, getting your finances in order, you want to cash some bonds, whatever the case may be, you hear it all. But that way, you, you know, the, 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 the nice, gentle, like, you need to ask at some point, do you want to do it? And it's totally fine if they say no, because they're going to choose. But go through it. You know how this movie ends. Um, they don't. And, and for, for service managers out there, right? Hey, yeah. Hey, listen, uh, I, we know a lot of service managers that are using the tool shed and, and using it in their service meeting. Today's episode's like a, a six pack of meetings. Oh my like goodness, Like you could yeah. take each of these subjects and have a meeting about it. We know technicians that spend 10 minutes yep. just talking about today's cost and yep. 10 minutes talking about the future cost. And so great episode for, for service managers yep. to have a Stop, meeting over. Buddy up. <laughs> 
practice because this like this is one you absolutely want to practice because you're going to find out things like ASHRAE, the American Society of Heat and Refrigeration Engineers. They'll tell you how long stuff. So yeah. you can you mm -hmm. can say stuff and you're when you practice, you hear somebody say that you're like, oh, that's gold. I'm going to use that. And so that's kind of what the tool shed is, right? right. One big practice here. So that's it. Let's, listen, there's there's a number of different things, and whether you're whether it's a roof, whether it's you know a, a pool filter and heater, whatever the case may be. And make sure that whatever's relevant for you, you know what they are. Be a tradesman, uh, you know, uh, be about your business, know the ins and outs. Uh, make sure you're having the, 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 the conversation with the customer. This is what we talk about, asymmetrical information. We know stuff and it's our moral responsibility to give that information. If we hold back information, that's black hat, we're not doing our job. The customer is not getting the full value of what they pay for, and that's bogus. Marlon wouldn't do that. So today's challenge, commit to having long-term conversations uh, with people. Anyway, I'll go with my soapbox. Hey. I, lo I love the people that take care of the customers by doing this. To me, this is the, the, the cats that I've always admired. This, is a, this can be an emotional, expensive conversation for people, and, and to be able to walk someone through that and not only have them uh, make, a, make a change, but feel really good about it. Poo! Feel really good about really it. Really good about it. Anyway. Right, what's that one saying you, you like about uh, your friend Charlie says about Oh, I wish it, I yeah. It's, it's better to, to, to spend a little bit more than you planned than to find out you didn't spend enough. The decisions we talk about, the customer will last, uh, they'll live with for 10 or 15, 20 years. Long so let's term. take care of our customers today by having good conversations, play the tape forward.